Hello, yes, Kensington and Fairfield election breakdown. That's right. The last couple of days I've been pondering as to why I came last with such a low vote when I came third with a much higher vote last year. And there's many factors, reasons that are banding about me head. What could have went wrong until today after visiting a friend I spoke to his wife and I think she uh, found the answer as to why. I asked this lady, do you think me election leaflet, which is showed here, was a bit too harsh in attacking the Labour councillors? She said it wasn't harsh enough. Don't worry about restraints in politics. You, you don't want to have any, right? Your leaflet was fine. Then I showed her a screenshot you've seen at the front of the video. Uh, it was on the, on the Echo website at the bottom of the Paul Kangley article, conveniently enough. And it described Joe Owens as no party. And she said, that's it. I said, well, why? She said, well, all the others are a party. You're no one with nothing. You're not even an independent. You're just no party. Like, you're a no one. You're an outsider. You're insignificant. You've got no support. And the more I thought about it, I think she's right. And also, she said to me, why I believe I'm right is this. I haven't voted for over 15 years and I decided to vote the other day. She said I didn't want to vote Labour, Tory or Conservative. And I was looking down the ballot paper and right at the bottom was an independent candidate. She said, right, I'm voting for you. She said, I don't know who he was or what he stood for, but I wasn't going to vote for the other shower. And she said, had you had independent next to your name, Joe, the same would have happened. But unfortunately, I was too clever for my own good thinking that I'll just put Joe Owens on the ballot paper, people will become synonymous with Joe Owens, he's the guy in the community putting the leaflets out, the independent voice sticking up for the forgotten and beleaguered white working class Joe Owens, but sadly it didn't work that way. Uh, it just, I was just uh, on the ballot paper as Joe Owens, and further along to the rise of box to put your, your X, right, whereas all the others had logos and political parties. But even I've had, I had, independent next to it like she said you're at least still belonging to something and she was right i was trying to be too clever for my own good you know and that was a fatal error and i'd like to apologize to those that donated um to help me buy leaflets to leaflet the ward and those that helped me leaflet the ward uh several times as well i'd like to apologize to them because it's been my fault but Joe Owens is going to get back in there. I'm not giving up. It's, you know, it's just, uh, it's a learning curve. That's what it is. And it was good talking to this lady because we're too used to listening to sycophants that would tell us what we want to hear. She was astute streetwise and she was outside the box and she obviously could see things. I couldn't. And it's good talking to these people. But like I say, Joe Owens isn't going away. The problems um, affecting Kensington and Fairfield aren't going away. In fact, they're just going to get worse. So I've learned an awful lot from this once again. It is all a learning curve, but I'm learning, trust me. Uh, also, um, in the process of designing a new leaflet for uh, Old Swan, Tubrook and other surrounding areas, warning them that unless they take action, the Kensington oil slick is on its way. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth, but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power, then more power, and finally complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.